Bonjourno. This is Cottage Hill Mechanics with myself, Ali, not Chris today. She sucks. Sure, oh, and her wonderful <laughs> share analogy. Share says that because share likes to share. That's terrible. <laughs> a wonderful share analogy. So uh, today we're doing cocktail mechanics with myself and we're gonna be looking at napkin flaring. Now there's many different types of flaring that you can do behind the bar. You can do competition flaring. It's uh, basically, basically ruled by the Russians, I'll be honest with you. You also have actual bartending, like working flaring. And um, my history in it is I used to work at TGI Fridays and also at Turtle Bay. So I used to do quite a few sort of working flares. So throwing around a few bowls and tins and that. Trying to look professional, but at the end of the day, probably broken a lot of stock and I've ruined a lot of drinks um, because of it. So instead of actually throwing around bottles today, because that's a little bit too much, we're gonna throw around some napkins because you can't break a bar with napkins, can you? So today we're looking, we've got a nice traditional white napkin. Lovely. <sighs> it doesn't matter what napkin you have. There's no like rules about it. It's literally a napkin's a napkin. Um, at the end of the day, if you can get like a four ply one, so it's folded four times, fantastic. So today these are just cheap ones that we found at Tesco's or you know, some sort of superstore. I'm just gonna show you a little bit what cocktail flare, uh, sorry, napkin flaring is. Basically getting your, getting your napkin onto the bar top for your customer. What I've learned in the past from working at bars is that first things I do is welcome the guest and then I put a napkin down straight away at a menu. It's like the first point of contact, first bit of service for you. Um, when you put down a napkin, it shows that you are engaged with them, but it also means to other bartenders that you've actually spoken to them as well. So it means that you are, in, you you have already done your steps of service, you are engaging with them, so they're all good, they don't need to wait. Last thing you want as a customer is to come to a bar and a bartender doesn't acknowledge you because then you kind of feel a bit unsure. It makes, it makes you feel uncomfortable. Well, that's my personal feeling about it. So what I like to do is throw around the napkins. Whoop. Throw around the napkins and then I put it down onto the onto the bar top for the customer. What you'll find most people, what most, uh, if you look at, if you Google napkin flaring, you're gonna find something like this where they flick it up and then they'll do this motion and then that's it done. But for me, that's just a little bit too much, too boring. So what I like to do is just bring it up, bring it in, bring it around. Whoop. Take two. Go Glen Coco. You go Glen Coco. Um, and then I put it down like that. Just if you can spin it in, it's perfect. You can go through so many napkins. They're not gonna take a lot of price off your stock. You know, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you how to do the spin. Um, it might be hard to see with all the white light on here, but you'll have these like sort of slightly perforated or perforated, but uh, uh, textured edges on here. You wanna have the textured edges away from you using your index finger and your thumb to go in between. This is your textured edge here. And these are where your main folds are, is towards your palm. And what you wanna do is grip it lightly and you're gonna spin out, you're gonna flick the wrist, there's a flick of the wrist, you're gonna flick it out, and as it flicks and it spins, it's gonna kinda of stay in the air for a little bit longer than if you just threw it up in the air. So when you spin it out, it will stay in the air a little bit longer. You get your hand underneath, get a big hand underneath, and you're gonna guide it in, you're gonna catch it. So if you're flaring around bottles, it's called a stall, to get a bottle to land on your hand and just to balance it out, it's called a stall. So we're gonna do a stall with the napkin, but spin it, and we're gonna bring it in, okay? So you can keep it going up for longer and then bring it down. But as you spin, it will have a mind of its own. It will move around. If you've got air conditioning going on, it will go everywhere, it's a nightmare. So try and do it in a very like calm space. So you don't wanna be flowing around and it just goes everywhere. So it's a flick of the wrist up. And then, as I said, you can flip it upside down, put it on the bar top, or you can flick your wrist out and it'll go down. It's quite simple. Once you've mastered that, then you can be a pretentious dickhead like me <laughs> and start throwing around more and bring it up onto the arm, bring it back around. And as I you can flick it with the wrist, so you sometimes you can get it to stand on your hand. It's very hard, but just a quick flick of the wrist. What? <laughs> fit, fit, fit. Oh. So you can bring it up, bring it onto the shoulder, bring it onto the elbow back down again. You can bring it into it as well. Oh, gonna hurt myself now. Into the elbow. Oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this one day. So in and then out and then out. It's a bit hard. I'm a bit too big. It's not much of a bar top, but you can get it from a distance. It's like pretty good. And if you really want to, you can try and do it with two. So you can either flick with both hands like that. If you're ambidextrous, you can get out with both, catch it with both. It's easy if you've got wandering eyes like me and you'll be able to see which where everyone's going. But for normal people who don't have an eye problem, 
Um, it's a little bit more difficult. So okay. flick it out. I lose it. <laughs> but I can't break through. There's no, no talking, talking to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sad. Yeah, it's a sad. 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 good for you all. <laughs> you believe in love after love. <laughs> <laughs> this is going so well. Right, last one. That's oh, a flick of shit. Last one. Yeah. I'm going to end on that. So, guys, go like and subscribe. Uh, we've got content mechanics pretty much every week. Um, it'll be on Wednesday or on Friday, depending on how quick I can edit. But yeah, every week we've got content mechanics. Every week we've got the weekly show on Monday. Chris, which is great. And uh, yeah, go like and subscribe. If there's anything you want to know about flaring wise, give me a shout. Um, probably going to be bringing the bottle around at some point and doing some simple working flare. Yeah.